Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic. And we are here at the San Joaquin, Joaquin Delta. <laughs> Not sure if I pronounced that right. And we're going to be going back below the Crichton Dam. Now, in the last episode, we were focusing more on the trout. Now, this time, we're going to see if we can't get some steelhead. Not steelhead. Now this time we're going to see if we can get some striped bass and we might still get the trout but this area right here is one of the best areas to get them and we're going to start there and then we're going to come over here to the docks and that's another good location at the foggy sanctuary. Now normally this is where you take off on your boat I haven't done that yet but we will probably do that shortly in another episode. Well, let's go ahead and come here and see what we can do. All right, we are here, and we're right here at the base of the Crichton Dam. Now, over there is where we were before, and we're getting ready to go into a peak, so I don't know how well they're going to be biting at this point, but... We're going to do a little bit of float and lure fishing for these guys. Start off with the uh, large, well, the shiners, not the large minnows. But I cannot do that with the bottom rod here. We're going to switch off here. I think this is my float rod. Yes, yes it is. And we're going to go ahead and switch it up here. I've got, let's see, a two-odd hook. Probably ought to upsize that a little bit. Let's take up to about a four-odd. We were going after uh, carp, or at least I was earlier when I was using this, so we're going to need to bring this up to about 40 inches. That's what I prefer for bass, all bass, actually. Now, let's see. Everything else looks like it might be good. 17 pound. Yeah, I think we're probably good to go there. We just need to change the bait. So, let's see. Now they will go for a lot of different things, uh, but I think probably the large minnows or the shiners, and I've got more of the shiners than I do the large minnows, so let's go ahead and put one of them on there. Now if we cast right over here, we're probably going to be getting more of the trout, and we need to get out here a good ways. Not too far though. I've been catching them recently. Used to catch them further out. For some reason recently I've been getting them like around 70, 70 feet out. Or is it feet or yards? I think it might be yards. Right around, I'll show you here. Yeah, right about there. That seems to be a really sweet spot right there. There might not be as many bites at this point because we are in a peak period. But it looks like something's going on down there. Yep. Usually with the striped bass, it doesn't seem the peak doesn't seem to matter. That's really with the trout. So let's go ahead and see what we got here, because it didn't take long at all. Yeah, because when I used to fish here, I would fish for the trout, and then I would go to the striped bass. And then when I got to the next peak, I'd go back to the trout again. Yeah, this is a big fish. Yeah, I think we got us a striper here. Yep, we do. There we go. Trophy stripe bias. Not bad. Not bad at all. Nice way to start off. Here, let's go ahead and get a picture with him, because I don't know if we'll get lucky enough to get a... Um, unique or not but they do come out here I used to get them though around 10 p.m. so I'm hoping that we might get lucky enough to get one but you can see they're pretty good sized fish 23 pounds it's 37 inches well, let me go ahead and get a picture here well why didn't the picture take Let's see. there it goes okay we got it now this must be a cloudy day because there's not a whole lot of light. We are going to keep him. 
does not take long to fill up your net. Yeah, the when I was getting the trout, I had to start a new day because I'd filled it up in no time. But again, I don't have any markers, so I can't put a marker out there. But eventually I'm going to have to. That's a little further out, but we might be all right. See if we can't get another one using this method. And like I said, it's pretty straightforward. I've got the. This was a Fire Phoenix, but a Fire Phoenix is just a regular Phoenix that's had a Halloween event put onto it. So it's really nothing special. Um, 17 pound braided line, 4 out hook, shiners, pretty straightforward stuff. A 40 inch lead just to make sure if you didn't catch it earlier. Now he's moving around but it doesn't look like anything's after him. That's one indication, I don't know if you've ever noticed, but if you see when you've got shiners or minnows, if you see it taken off in one direction, you're probably going to get a bite. Well, let's bring this in a little bit because I still think 75, 76 is better. Let's see here. Right about there. There we go. That's good. Okay, he's swimming around a lot now. Something's after him. See how he relaxed there for a minute? Now there's something out there. Yep, I told you. Should just be a sudden attack if he's going to go after it. Yep, there we go again. What's after him? But he is not. Too serious. There we go. We got him. All right. Yeah, this one's not nearly as big. This could be. No, it's just a regular striper. Still, five, ten, fourteen pounds not too bad all right I'm gonna switch over to a crankbait here see if I remember which one I have it on here let's see not it there it is number four since it's a kind of cloudy I'm gonna get a different crankbait on here let's see I think I might get let's try this eight foot the blue seems to stand out really well in this kind of weather. But basically cast it out about the same place. Now I cast it out a little further than 76. I usually cast it out almost as far as, or a little bit less as it'll cast. And just bring it in at a slow pace, as slow as it can go. seems to be going for the blue so maybe we need to switch up the colors sometimes it doesn't hurt to try a few different colors let's see here 
Now, I started with this, but I think I might do a six foot, maybe, since that one's not quite as deep. Tell you what, guys. Let's go ahead back to the map. We're going to head up over here. See what we can do up there. Let's see. At the Foggy Sanctuary. Let's see. We got three docks to choose from. I think I'll start with the metal one, where the boat is. Now normally when you cast out here, you're going to get quite a few things. Now we're going to start off with the crankbait though. Go right back to that. Might do the 12 foot crankbait this time. I'm going to try it at this time first, see if we have any luck, but usually, if I remember correctly, we would throw right towards that extension line. Like I said, it's been a while, so... There we go. I was right. I don't think this is. This may not be a striper. This may be something else. Let's see here. Smallmouth? Yeah. Let's try that again. Seeing a lot of activity over there, so that's good. There we go. Now this one's bigger. striper not bad not as big as that one but it looks like the sun's coming out a little bit too so we can get a better look at him they are a pretty fish so it looks like they're further over this way I was throwing right I don't know if you can see it but there's been quite a bit of activity over there with the bait fish and it's where I decided to cast that time and sure enough there's a reason they were losing their minds and thusly so remember this is not a peak period guys so <laughs> This guy's this guy's some, got some heft to him. It might be a trophy. Put a little more tension on that. We can get it up to the little bit of the red. I've got differing people saying different things. They're like, "Oh no, you shouldn't do that." Look, 
I get results, okay? <laughs> if I'm getting results, leave me alone. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Everybody has their own preferences. What works for somebody may not work for someone else. It may work for them. It's just not the way they do it. Best thing is to provide advice, but not criticism. Constructive criticism is one thing. But just to tell you you're doing it wrong. <laughs> oh, come on, fish. You are really a booger, aren't you? Whoa, do not, do not do it, do not do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Boy, it's a big fish. Damn, there he goes again. Oh, he is going to bolt one more time. Come on, you little pan up. But there we go, we got him. Ho! Oh, well, he was in a striper. Trophy steelhead. Whew, damn. Get him, it was not easy. That is a big fish, guys. Definitely will take him. I think I'll get a picture of him, too, because it, it's a nice looking fish. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's get in the sunlight so we can get a better look of him. Yeah, he's nice. Very, very nice. Very nice fish. I was not expecting a, steel, a trophy steelhead, though. <laughs> Alright, let's try towards those little... Whatever you call them over there. <laughs> Sometimes I get some stuff from over there, too. There's actually a little island there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. You can catch quite a few carp over there. I think that's Beaver Island over there, but I'm not 100% certain. I'd have to look at the map. Oh, we got a little something there. He's not big, but... Might be a little small mouth. Let's see here. Yep. Now, I used to throw it towards these two, these windmills. Now, I'm, you probably see that marker I have over there just north of me. That marker is for the white sturgeon. I managed to catch several I managed to catch several white sturgeon right there the last time I played. Now I'm not, I'm not doing an episode on, on them yet, but I wanted to see whether or not you could sell them and you can. I figured they were probably protected. But not so much the case, and they bring in a lot of cash. But the best time to fish for them is at night, so. Here we go with another one. Let's see what we got here. Yep, striped bass. So let's get one more of those little fellows. This is what you do. You sit there and you fish for these guys. And you fill up your continue filling whoa. Continue filling up your net. And then when the peak period comes, if you haven't filled up your net yet, because it looks like it's gonna happen, um then you go back down there and go after the steelhead again. And the um, 
Chinook. Yeah, this is a fairly hefty guy too. Let's see what we got here. God bless. I thought I had him in here. Come on. There we go. Another trophy, guys. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Now, the first one was bigger. And just to make sure that we cover all the bases here, I think we're going to go ahead and switch back over to float rod here. Wait a minute, where is that thing? Two? I think it's two. Yeah, that's it. We'll see what we can get with the float rod. With some shiners. Alright, there we go. Right under the windmills. There we go. And there's another striped bass. See? So my suggestion is just kind of cast over there by that around 100 feet so let it float down when it gets right about there they tend to bite all right guys i hope you enjoyed that episode please be sure to share comment like and subscribe and like i said this is a great place and great species to fish for during the low peak periods so when we get to another peak period i think we're going to go after something a little different but anyway guys as always same straight cast far and have fun and i will see you later bye bye